Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 14th of 2019, well, it is titled Andromeda Before Photoshop. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the Andromeda galaxy, the nearest large spiral galaxy to our own, and only a couple of million light years away, so very close by galactic standards. And we see the structures within the galaxy, the central uh, nucleus, and then the uh, dust lanes in the outer as we go towards the outer layers. Now, the Andromeda galaxy is often photographed, and we see lots of images of it, but not quite like the one we see today. This is kind of the beginning of the image. What do we see when we're first done? Now, this is actually a combination of hundreds of different uh, images put together and stacked together, but what you get to see is all of the little imperfections that do occur when you are taking things, uh, taking images of things out in space. And that is because our skies are not crystal clear and there are lots of other things going on there as well. And in fact, we see some uh, artificial phenomena here. In fact, a lot of these are either airplane trails or satellite trails as they move across the sky. So if they happen to go across your field of view, you're going to get them and have to have them removed in order to get your nice image of just the sky. So there are some things that are artificial created here on Earth. There are other things that are natural phenomena that are uh, that occur all the time. Things like meteor trails could also come up through this image and would cause, uh, would cause a distortion to it. Sometimes we see a meteor end up showing up in one of our images, which of course is something that cannot be planned for. And we can also get cosmic ray trails, again, high energy particles from space that are coming through the Earth's atmosphere. And finally, cameras are not perfect. There are pixels within them that are bad. So you can see, you'll get to see some of those as well. Now, what would it look like after processing? Well, what you need to do is to move the mouse over the image and all of the processing is then done. And you can see what has been removed. All of these long streaks have been removed to uh, get rid of this. And I mentioned the bad pixels. You can see some cases there where it looks like a star is being removed. It's not that the star was being removed. It's that that was a bad pixel within the camera detector, the charge coupled device that detects the light. And sometimes there are certain bad pixels and those can be removed and you can find that as well here. So when you have the mouse over the image, you get the final image. Once it has been processed and all of the other things have been removed, all of the airplane and satellite trails, meteors, you can actually remove all that to be able to see what Andromeda would look like through a pristine sky. So that's what we get to see here in our image of the day for the Great Andromeda Galaxy. So that was our picture of the day for October the 14th of 2019. It was titled Andromeda Before Photoshop. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be the galaxy above. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.